Hey guys, Cubescore Hutch here, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to solve beginner's way the 2x2, two two, layer by layer. Hey guys, Cubers Corner Hutch here, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to solve 2x2 two two, layer by layer beginners. Uh, there, I use an advanced layer by layer method. There is Ortega, of course, uh, some other methods, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you know what? Let's jump right into it with the uh, first layer. Okay, so I have a nice scramble here, and uh, if let's just say we're in a competition. So we're in a competition. You're inspecting. So I see that that orange and that white needs to match up with that white and that orange. So I know it'll match up by just pulling it back. So if I pull it back, I already have one piece in the first layer. And then I see that this needs to go up one. So I just pull that up. I see that this is on the bottom. So this is our first case out of three on uh, the first layer. So what I like to do is I like to pull it down bring it over, then pull it back up to fix it. And then for this case, see it's pushing that way, you want to pull, you want to do an LI, or an L inverted uh, move, and then you want to do an FI move, and then another L move to fix it. So that'll that'll get you the first layer. But there's, a, there's one more scenario that I'm going to go through, and then we'll get on to the next step. Okay, so this is the next step, or not the next step, the next uh, scenario. So this is facing you. So we had one facing that way. We had one facing down. And uh, we've, I've already taught you how to do that. So this, you just got to do a back turn. It, it needs to be the opposite way. So this one's on the right. See, see that's on the left, that's on the right. So you want to move it to the opposite direction. I want to do an R turn to connect it. And then I want to pull it back. So now I have the first layer. Now on to the next step. The next step is solving this yellow layer, or not layer, side. So, to do this, we need to do sequences. You only, this is one of the two sequences that you will need to learn to solve the 2x2. Two two. It's this sequence that is going to be on your screen now. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, U, R, I. I just happened to solve it, but there's actually another step at some time. So there's seven scenarios. I'm not going to go through all seven of them on how your OLL can be taken. Uh, it's called OLL, so orienting uh, the last layer or something like that. And uh, what it does is it solves this yellow side. But uh, seven scenarios, I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, they're pretty easy. Just keep on doing that sequence. And remember, never give up on that sequence because it will work. Uh, try some different ways. So let's say you have like uh, something like this, and you wanna, and you wanna do it. You just gotta try different ways on which way to do the sequence. You could do it that way, and then you would get this, and then you could try it again, and then you'd get this. But one thing I have to say: if you do get one corner, which is what you're trying to get, you're trying to get one single corner. You wanna hold it in this little part of your hand, in your bottom left. So you wanna go R U R I U R U U R I. So uh, that's the step for OLO. And now this last step is called PLO, permuting the last layer. So there's two scenarios on here. This is the first one. You have this thing solved, and you can line it up. Like, let's say you got this. But if you don't want to line it up, you can just stick it in the back like that. But some people prefer to line it up. I really, I don't prefer to line it up. It wastes time for me. But uh, if you are getting into speed cubing, I would recommend not lining it up. So then what this sequence does is it switches these two terms corners on the two by two. So it is this. This is a hard one guys. R I F R I back two R F I R I back two R two U I or not U I I'm sorry forget the U I at the end. Uh but then you can just line it up like that which would be a UI turn but it's uh all these sequences will be in the description by the way. And the air just kicked in. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, 
So there's one more scenario, and it'll, it goes something like this. This is the next scenario. It's where these two are solved. See, as you can see. And these two are not, and you need to switch these two. See, there is a sequence that can switch these two, but it's very complicated, and I'm still learning it. So what you need to do is you need to do your back twice sequence, is what I call it. It's R I F R I back twice R F I R I back twice R two, and then you can either pull it to the back like that, or you can line it up, and then you do it one more time back twice back twice. And then all you gotta do is a simple turn like that, and it'll solve your two by two. Thank you guys all for watching, and if you did, make sure to leave a like. If you haven't already done so, subscribe, you know? It's free, and um, you can get to see all of our videos, and if you put us on our, in your notification thing, you can see when we upload. We upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if you like this new camera setup with the new lighting, uh, probably better audio quality, because I'm actually doing... Uh, different mic on this one and different lighting and a different setup. So this is all new and I all love it uh, But anyway if this helped you learn make sure to leave in the comment section below this helped me a lot Something like that because I love to interact with y'all guys um, I love comments the most as you know if you've seen our welcome to Cuber's Corner video talks about me on that but uh, make sure to watch all of my other fellow Cubers uh, Daniel Bryce and uh, meet all, all of our videos, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.